In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to create uh, a kind of a tutorial hints to pop up once a player enters a certain area by using the Area 2D node in Godot. So let's get started. So I've created a new Godot project and I've imported the assets, which I will link in the video description. And since we're going to work with pixel art, we have to make a couple of changes to this project. So I go to project settings, look for the rendering and then the textures. And we have to change the default texture filter to nearest. So we get clean looking pixel art. And apart from that, we're also going to make some changes to the game window. We're going to make it 320, 320 enable your advanced settings and then scale it up to twice that size. And then we're also going to set the, the stretch mode to canvas items and that should be all. Okay, so we can actually start making our player now. So we can actually move around, make a character body 2D, add a collision shape and add a sprite and add a camera 2D. This collision shape is going to be a square for now. Take a look, and then we're going to add the player sprite to this sprite 2D. So this is going to be our player, and now we have to make a script to actually make him move, called player. And we're going to do some very basic movement, but before we can do that, we actually have to map the input of the uh, project. We go to project settings, input map, up, down, left, right, and then up is going to be W, S for down. A for left and D for right. It's good. And now in the physics process function of this script, we're gonna say direction is input dot get vector. And then it should be left, right. I think it was up and then down. We're gonna find out if this is the correct order. And if we have a direction, so if there's any key being pressed, we're going to set the velocity of this body to be velocity.lerp and to the direction times the max speed, which is going to be 100. And then we're going to also add a weight, which is dot 5. Else we want the player to be standing still, which is going to be velocity is vector 2 dot 0. And to make him actually move, we also need to call the move and slide method at the end. Um, so now we should be able to move our player and in order to get some sense of direction we're going to add a sprite for now because we can't see if we're moving if we have no background or anything else in the scene. And let's just add another guy into our scene to show us that we're moving. And we're moving, so that's good. So we have player movement. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a area 2D to be our um, tutorial area. So we want to show a certain sprite when the player enters this area. We're going to convert this into a scene. We're going to call this, oh wait, if I change the name here, we're, let's, let's call this hint area. And if I convert this into a, its own scene, and we save this, this is going to be the only thing in the scene. And a area requires a collision shape in order to determine when something has entered its area or not. And we're not going to define that in this scene, we're actually going to define that from outside. All this area needs to do right now is we're going to make it detect other areas. And we're going to create a script in this scene of the hint area. Remove all this. And this script needs to show a certain sprite when something has entered its area. And we want the sprite to also be configurable from the outside. So we're going to export a variable named sprite. It's going to be a node 2D. And then we're going to connect two, two signals of this area into this script. We want to know when something has entered and we want to, want to know when something has exited. So we're going to connect both of these and these are going to be called if the player is going to be entering or leaving this area. And what we want to do if the player enters, we want to say sprite.show. And if the player leaves the area, we want to say sprite.hide. Okay. So now if we go back to the main scene, we have this hint area, which we're gonna move over here, and we're gonna make this guy a child of this hint area. So when you get close to this guy, we should see a hint. So 
let's reset his transform so he's at the center of the hint area that's good and our hint area as i said before it requires a collision shape and we can make this into a circle and we can say when it when a player gets this close we should probably trigger the hint and then next up we also need to actually render what needs to be shown when you enter the hint area so we're going to make that a animated sprite 2d for this tutorial and we're going to make a new animation and we can actually select our sprite sheet and we're going to use the attack for now it has two sprites horizontally and one vertically we have to select all of them and create two frames we want this to play on load so we have to click this button over here and then we can move this up or down and since we're not doing that in this scene we can modify where what sprite is going to show for each individual hint area um, and this script still requires something to know what it needs to show or hide so we're going to drag our animated sprite into this variable of our hint area instance and then if we run this now this would immediately be visible so in this script we can say function ready sprite to hide so initially we're going to hide the sprite but i i think it's valuable to see what's being rendered in your editor instead of already disabling it here so we can actually see where it is and what's going where um, so that's set up we still cannot detect the player because the player itself doesn't have an, uh, an area yet and we want to make an area specifically for the player for detecting hints so we don't abuse the collision shape or the character body for detecting if a player is close because if you ever want to change that and you're already using the character body collision shape that's very unfortunate we're going to make something specifically for detecting the hint areas so in your player we're going to make a area 2d and this area to d will be used for detecting these areas so we need a collision shape and let's say the player can detect an hint area if it's inside of his circle collider over here let's make it orange to differentiate okay and now we still need to tell um, these two collision or at least these two areas apart this one needs to detect this one and in order to do that we have the layers and masks and we need to tell this area it needs to detect this one so we're going to identify the player area to d as layer number one and then we tell the hint area it should detect by, you, by clicking the one under the mask it's saying we want to detect this layer and the player area to d identifies as layer number one so now these signals that we just connected should be firing as soon as the player enters uh, we can already check that so if we get close it shows and if you want to actually see the collision shapes you can actually go to debug visible collision shapes and we have we play now we can actually see when the orange circle touches the hint area it will show the sprite that we've defined in the script so if we want another hint area which we can do now let's call this one attack hint and let's make another one so we can just drag another instance of our scene in here and we're going to call this one um, let's rename it real quick charge hint and this one needs a collision shape just like we did before with the other hint but because we have not defined the collision shape inside of this uh, hint area scene we can now pick whatever shape we want so if we want a square shape for this specific hint we can do so let's do that and then we probably also want a sprite 2d in here so that we can see we have a guide to get close to in order to get the hint and then we also need something to show so we're going to make another animated sprite 2d new sprite create from sprite sheet we pick the second one it has two sprites horizontally one vertically select all of them and add the frames play on load move it a little bit like so it could even be below because you also have the freedom to do whatever you want um, with the sprite and where it is because we don't define it in the parent scene 
um, and then it should already have the collision setup. So it's it's gonna not do this automatically. We can do that if we change it in the actual scene itself. So we can just say this, save it. And then this is looking good because we want to detect layer one and the player identifies as layer one. Um, and this should already be working. Oh, we still have to link the animated sprite in our charge hint. So see, it's empty here. So just drag it in. So the script knows what to toggle. And then when you go here, we see attack. And when we go here, we see charge. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.